Okay, let's talk about the goal statements assignment. So this is a huge project and I've emphasized it with 150 points because I want you to get the benefit of paying attention to goals and really thinking about what it takes to make a goal measurable. People who write down their goals are better able, able to achieve them and they're more successful overall. They, um, they did research on a class of Harvard MBAs. Those who wrote down their goals made 30% more <laughs> in the over the next 20 years than those who did not, even if they did not achieve the goals that they wrote down. The process of writing down goals changes your approach to life itself. <laughs> At least that's what I believe. It is a fundamental act um, wherein you take free-floating ideas and you give them substance. You make them, uh, give them form and make them more real. So I want you to do the uh, career assessment PDF. Um, that's through, uh, through the uh, Bloomberg Business Week. I want you to take the Myers-Briggs personality test and the introversion test. I want you to learn how to write a SMART goal and think about how that works, you're going to identify SMART five-year and 20-year goals. So download the example. We're gonna have an APA essay. You're gonna write about yourself. You can answer these questions in this first section. I want you to look at jobs. Before you start writing your SMART goals, look at jobs in your field, please. You might as well submit your job ad early to turnitin.com, get that five points out of the way, hooray, hooray. Um, but look at more than one job. Look at jobs that you want in five years, look at jobs that you might want in 20 years, and write down the certifications and experience that they want people to have. And then, hey, you have, you have something that you need to aim for. I want you to envision yourself in five years. What kind of life do you want? So what kind of life do you want in five years? Where do you want to be working? Do you want to be working in another country? What do you want to be doing every day? Um, do you want to be working from home? Do you want um, to be working with people and presenting? Do you want to be on the road? What do you want to do? Um, do you want a corporate job? Do you want to be a manager at that point? Think about that. Now, you want 10 items, things, things that you can achieve. Now, they're already time-bound because you're saying, within five years, I want to achieve this. Make them specific. That's hard. You can't just be, you know, you can't just say, I want to learn more. Create something that is specific that you want to do and make sure it's measurable so that we can tell yes or no that it's been achieved. Make sure it is achievable. Winning an Olympic medal at this point in the next five years for you might not be an achievable goal given that we have the Olympics now, um, unless you already have some sort of special in. Um, make sure it's achievable and realistic, something you can do, something you probably will be able to do, and it's already time bound. Um, envision yourself 20 years from today. Think about what you want to be doing in 20 years. Most of us will still be working in 20 years. I'm going to be working in 20 years. If you want to have um, retired already in 20 years and you're an 18-year-old in college now or a 20-year-old in, 20 in college now and you want to retire by the age of 40, 42, then you really need to think about what's going to happen over the next 20 years. What is your life, personal and professional, going to be like? Are you going to have a family? Are you going to be living in a particular place? Are you going to be bi, tri, bi or trilingual if you're not already? Many of you already are. Are you going to own a home? Are you going to own vehicles? Are you going to have paid off your student debt? Um, create a goal statement of kind of where you see yourself and then create those specific measurable goals that are going to get you there. Um, so what 10 things do you have that can get you there? Make sure they're smart. Um, turn this into turnitin.com on the due date and use that APA style. Now, what does that mean? That means that I want you, oh, I want you to look at this example and this is what I've created. I have actually written this, so it's about me. I put student name so that you can fill this in. Leave this the same. This is what a research paper in APA looks like, except obviously we're not doing research. There would be a references uh, page here and you would document your sources. But 
this is what an APA paper generally looks like. So here is my little introduction, a new field of opportunity. Here is kind of where I am now. Here is me looking at myself as an introvert slash extrovert. One of my traits. Here is kind of me thinking about my path. Here is me speculating on you know my biggest weakness. Now here are my goals. So here's my little three sentence. Here's kind of how I see myself. And then here are 10 specific goals. So here is a person. Here I'm going to bring this person to this meeting. Now this may seem silly to you, but this represents an investment of time on my part. And I, I want to achieve this. And so it's important. Um, this is something I would like to achieve because I have entrepreneur, entrepreneurial students all the time. I have some entrepreneurial dreams. <laughs> and I want it to be passive because I want it to be something that I can monitor, but I don't have to actively go in and work every day. So I have some things that are sitting around that I can make happen that way. Here are my 20-year goals, where I want to be, what I want to be doing, and then here's a conclusion. So you, you are not allowed to use my words. You are not you know, allowed to use my goals unless they're your goals too. Um, create your own goals. This is a thought-provoking assignment. It's difficult and frustrating, but it is one of those assignments that can change your life. And it can refine your ability to perceive what you need to do now so that you will be more successful later. Uh, have fun. This is a great assignment. I look forward to reading what you know, reading what you achieve.